Now it's Ask the Dietitian with Sally Sawaya from Sally's Diet Right. Sally Sawaya in the studio. Good morning, Sally Sawaya. Good morning, Sally. Yeah, hi, buddy. So good to see you. Nice to see you too. Yeah. So sure. Sally Sawaya from Sally's Diet Right, and how's everything going at Sally's Diet Right? It's going very well, Gavin. Yes. Well, now it's well, again traffic <laughs> at my clinic. I mean, it's the season. That's why. Because because of what? Well, why, why would it be busy after after summer? Oh, usually the summer they take holidays. They take off time from the diets, yes. so they go back to their exactly. good healthy eating habits in September. You, October. you know what it means like to take a holiday, especially if you're going to Italy, for instance. Yum. It's like a food <laughs> vacation. <laughs> Food vacay. Yeah, you, you can't be on, on a diet when you're no. in Italy. My well, friend was telling me she was eating pizza every day, you know, in, uh, at work. She was like, uh, yeah, she was just at Italy. She was uh, eating pizza and pasta. And I went to Italy oh once and I, I think I gained like seven kilos. Because <laughs> it was so good, the food. Oh, my God. So did you come with your top five things, Sally? Yes, Swire? Gavin. It's nutrition facts about five autumn fruits that are in season now. Mm. Okay. Okay. So the, the fruits that are in season, mm. um, let's go through the nu nutritional facts of those, the top five things. Number five? Figs. Teen. Figs, teen, yes. Yeah, they, they, these are granny fruits. Yeah, but uh, Grannies, they are delicious, they love Gavin. Figs. <laughs> you don't like figs? Figs are great. Not really, no. Mm. Oh, good for you because every two pieces is 60 calories and nobody is satisfied with two pieces because it has a good amount of natural sugar but on the other hand it's very rich in soluble fiber so it helps lower your bad cholesterol okay. and they have uh, prebiotics which are food for the probiotics the good bacteria in your gut so it's very important for uh, digestive health mm -hmm. let's hear it for figs <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Yeah. They'd rather have Hagen Dazs, but we'll uh, give them figs. We'll give them figs for now. Num number number four? Uh, grapes. Oh, yeah, I like grapes. Mm, grapes are, I mean, very rich in uh, vitamins and minerals, but very beneficial in uh, polyphenols because they have like antioxidants, especially found in red grapes. And we hear about the red wine, why it's healthy. It's, it's because of, of that antioxidant resveratol in the red grapes. Is it only red wine? What yes, about white wine? it's mostly the red grapes or the red wine that has that compound, and that compound's been associated with helping prevent certain diseases, especially heart disease. I've, I've heard that drinking a glass of red wine a day is equivalent to doing sports <laughs> for your heart, basically, for an hour. It's good for your heart, but I mean, uh, for sports, you still need to go to the gym. No, obviously, yeah, 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 but I'm saying the same, it has like the same effect oh. on your heart. On the in heart, goodness. yes. In, in goodness, goodness, it yeah. has good effects on the heart, okay. yes. Okay. Okay, mm. top five things. Number three this week. Uh, cactus fruit, subir. Mm, you know, these small prickly fruits, Gavin. Have you ever had subir? I don't think I have. It's really so good. good. <laughs> so good. And also very rich in fiber, so it helps in your digestion and it helps prevent constipation because it's very high in fiber. Really? Yeah. I thought it does that. No, the other way around. It's the other way around. Yeah. Okay. And it's full of vitamin C, so it helps strengthen your body defenses. And the magnesium, you know, the good mineral for your nerve and muscle function excellent and two cactus fruits are 60 calories so it's actually low in calories nice number two the seasonal fruits in season right now the yellow dates gavin have you seen these in the supermarket balah yeah can, can you eat them straight away or do you have to peel anything off no no you just uh, wash them and eat them straight away and mm. uh, as they i mean as they increase in their ripeness level their sweetness increases it's really um, contains loads of nutrients six vitamins 15 minerals and rich in fiber yum but again and two to three constitute one fruit serving and 60 calories. Two to three? Yes. Okay. So two to three of those uh, those, those things, it's actually 60 calories? Yep. Can you say it? Bella. <laughs> Bella? Bella. And number one on this list of <laughs> seasonal fruits? It's persimmons. Kharma. Uh, what? You know, <laughs> kharma, kharma. Orange fruits. This I saw one, them at the supermarket this one yesterday. You have to say, kharma. No, I don't know how to say that. But what, 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 what was the English? It's persimmons. Can you Google them? Okay, persimmons okay. in I'll English. Show you. Persimmons? And in Arabic, in Arabic, it's kharma. I have to say, this fruit has a weird name. Actually, Gavin, oh, I was thinking about. No, you need yeah. to eat those because they are very good for your eye health. Oh, they wow. look like tomatoes. They're yes, delicious. They're but delicious. They, are, they are delicious. They contain special compounds that are very good for your eyesight, for healthy oh. vision. What about digestion? Digestion, very high in fiber, uh, and they contain anti-aging, antioxidants. They are very, very healthy fruit. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get some. So this is the winner today. So good. This is the winner, <laughs> number one fruit. But they're so oh, yeah. sour and horrible. No, they're no, not. They can be like, you know, tangy or because Ooh, they have, teeth. if they're not ripe, but when they are ripe, they are beneficial for you and... Um, 
so loaded in antioxidants. So the, the, yeah. they're like a cross between an orange and uh, and a tomato. They're not a cross at all. They got nothing <laughs> to just, do with it. They just have the same sort of appearance. Yeah. But they're they're not that at all. At all. This is what they look like. They look like. Have you tried one? Or they, yeah, or, or maybe mini little little um, Halloween things. They're like little yeah. jellos inside. They got jellos. Yes, jelly. So, so, so why, why are they beneficial eyesight? They are us? very good for your eyesight. They have loads of vitamin A, loads of vitamin C, and anti-aging on antioxidants. Oh, yep. Anything mm. with anti-aging, I'm going to buy We're those. Going. <laughs> We're going for <laughs> this. You together there. <laughs> Sally Sawyer in the studio, 03-887-000. What would you like to ask Sally Sawyer from Sally's Diet Right this morning? Send us a message. We'll ask the question for you. The Dietitian with Sally Sawaya from Sally's Diet Right. 03-887-000, your questions for Sally Sawaya this morning. Well, the first question is not a question. It's kind of funny. Someone said here, I prefer to age than eat kharma. <laughs> well, I personally wouldn't. I love Kharma. Yeah, but that, I, I agree that is with you. Funny. That is funny. Okay, first question. Hello, Sally. You always tell us what to eat, but what does your day of food look like? Okay. Oh, your, your someone, personal day. Yes, yeah, so going to the life and life and food of Sally. Mm, okay. My preferences. I love to wake up to a um, cup of uh, low-fat milk with uh, some uh, soluble coffee, mm -hmm. and then I have my halloumi sandwich. I love that because uh, halloumi, the low-fat option with roca with some avocado mm. and yeah. cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> Making me hungry. Yeah. Yes. And then I have my fruit snack bet be between breakfast and lunch. At lunch, I have my uh, lunch, my cooked food with a salad. Okay. Afternoon, two more pieces of fruits. And then maybe an indulgence of dark chocolate, 25 grams. Mm. <laughs> and then my dinner will be similar to breakfast or like an omelette style or some low-fat yogurt with uh, muesli. Uh, something light. Dinner? Mm. Like, yeah, I could eat cereal and muesli any, any time of the day. So I can have it either <laughs> in the morning. Either in the morning. I'm, a, I'm an all day cereal girl. Mm. Anyways, uh, okay, so another question. Can you please ask Sally if it's okay to take whey protein scoop every day for all your life if you work out regularly? Okay, during the days that you don't work out, you don't need to take your protein scoop. So if whey protein. Yeah, whey protein scoop. Mm. Each whey protein scoop contains about 20 to 25 grams of protein. So if you're a regular exercise, as you go to the gym every day for one to two hours, yep. you may need an extra protein. This is an easy supplement that you can take after your gym workout. Ah, okay. But no need to take it like regularly. If you stop exercising or if you're doing only cardio leisurely, you don't need to take that scoop. You don't need to take that. Mm. So here's another one. Good morning. I have a question for Sally. Now that Vinifest is here, how do you recommend that we consume our wine? <laughs> what what, what do they mean by that? Well, it's only two more days. Well, they, they want to know how to consume. What's the best normally, way of consuming wine? Yeah, normally, okay. uh, moderate amounts of alcohol that are uh, advised are like one glass for women of wine uh, a day and two glasses for men. So oh, this is a safe sexist. amount. <laughs> <laughs> that is just sexist. Uh. That's, I mean, for the normal, for, for the general population. But yeah. if you have any problems, you cannot have alcohol, then you have to avoid it. Okay. But this is the normal intake. But again, account it into the calories you eat during the day. So you cannot have like a piece, a big piece of cake and then two glasses of wine. That's too much. Yeah, yeah. you're right. So Sally Sawyer from Sally's Diet Right, 03-887-000. Another beverage question. What can you tell us about morning? tea leaves and powder moringa tea moringa sorry it's so <laughs> read re, re, re the question yes. again so so what, oh. what can you tell us about uh, moringa was, tea leaves and powder i thought that was a typo yeah it's like a new we're seeing a lot of moringa tea in the uh, market um okay. it has some anti-inflammatory antioxidant properties because it's full of those beneficial plant compounds so uh, it helps also, some researchers say that it helps lower your blood sugar after a meal. Mm -hmm. uh, some studies say it's good for your heart health as it helps your blood pressure. Okay. But again, taking the powder and be aware that if you're taking the, rule or the root or the extract of the moringa plant, then it's it kind of dangerous. It, it has some toxic compounds. So be careful. You can have the tea and enjoy it in a moderate amount. It's actually beneficial for you. But be aware that uh, supplements or powders may have some toxic residues. Yeah, so be aware of that. How about Ashta? <laughs> Yeah, Ashta is lovely. Ashta is lovely, but it's fat, Gavin. It's, oh, really? It's fat. It has some protein, but it's fat. It's uh, Ashta, you know? The fruit, a lot of. The fruit, uh, ashta. Ah, the fruit. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. It okay. A fruit one? 
Well, I was thinking of the ashta, the, the white thing. Yeah, I was thinking about the dessert ashta. Yeah. Isn't that dairy, though? Isn't that uh, dairy yeah, dairy, based? but loads of fat. Loads, loads of, of saturated fat, fat okay. so not good for your it's cholesterol. The fruit ashta is not, d obviously, it's the fruit. Okay, so what about that? I'll but give you the complete facts next time, but I know it's like half an ashta is one fruit. 60 calories. So if you eat the whole ashta fruit, it's like 120 to 150. It has uh, good amounts of sugar, loads of fiber, but I get, I will give you more details next time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, here's another question. Please, can I ask if cam cranberries, dried or juice that we buy from supermarkets have the same benefits as fresh ones? Are they good for diabetic people? The problem when you dr when they dry cranberries, sometimes they add sugar. Mm -hmm. So make sure you buy the varieties with less uh, sugar added to them. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely cranberries that are frozen uh, are, are beneficial, are better because they have lower sugar content. The yeah. juice, again, use the ones that are natural without added sugar. Okay. But it's very beneficial for you. Loads of antioxidants associated with less uh, problems with the urinary, urinary tract infections and so. So it's really very good. Yeah, it is ben very mm. beneficial. Mm. Okay. Um, so final question about peanut butter. The peanut butter one. Okay, can you ask Sally Sawaya about the peanut butter that is low in sodium? How mm. many tablespoons are we allowed to take per day? I just love peanut butter. Just make sure to you to choose the natural one without any hydrogenated fat inside. It's Where can we find that? By the way, we yeah. can find when you How read the you label. Know? When you read the label, it's important that in the ingredient list hydrogenated fat is not in that list so but how would you see it's so tiny i'd need a microscope wear your glasses gavin oh no i'm not doing that in public <laughs> no wear Why your not? glasses gavin <laughs> <laughs> and they are normally low in sodium but the fat is what i'm concerned about you can have like one tablespoon is around 90 calories okay and around four grams of uh, of protein so it's a rich source of protein it's you can have fat. one to two tablespoons a day good it's fat. the good fat yeah. yes it's okay. the very good fat for your heart yeah. so remind us are on the ingredients list the thing that we don't want in peanut butter hydrogenated vegetable fat hydrogenated vegetable fat it's easy guys so if it, if it if peanut butter has that we shouldn't buy that don't particular buy one. that brand take another brand okay sally sawaya thank you very much you're welcome <laughs> sally is from sally's diet right if you'd like uh, any more details of, uh, of of sally and sally's diet right how do we get in touch with you my facebook page and my insta it's sally's diet right and the right is spelled r-i-t-e thank you sally Thank you.